So welcome to the first segment of the first lesson of the course on uh, scientific programming and machine learning with Julia. This is Visual Studio Code, the plugin of Julia in particular. And uh, here, the code that you find here, you can be downloaded from uh, this GitHub uh, repository. On the kickoff uh, meeting we had, uh, we learned how to install the Julia plugin on the Visual Studio Code, and uh, we learned about uh, uh, packages. You will have this uh, uh, code here that you can run by yourself. So uh, a few things that will be common in, on each, uh, um, each uh, uh, segment. So each uh, uh, segment is uh, one file and you should run each file independently from each other because of course uh, on we will do uh, our things on each uh, uh, files and we don't want to keep stuff from one uh, file from one uh, even one lesson to the next one so please uh, run each file on a new Julia uh, process and uh, each file will start with some stuff uh, that is used to uh, guarantee reproducibility. And uh, in particular, uh, we set with the CD, we set change directory on the directory uh, of the file. So this one started with this hat dir is a macro that resolve to the file, to the directory where this specific file is uh, hosted, so we know where uh, where the the the, lo the actual uh, directory is. Here we we are using uh, the package systems, and we activate the um, the environment. So uh, each uh, f each lesson is composed of multiple segments, but they are all in the same directory. So the environment is uh, uh, we, what we use is characteristic of each lesson. So if there will be uh, five lessons or seven lessons for the course, each lesson has its own uh, environment. Uh, now a bit of things. Uh, I'm using Julia 1.7 to run uh, these, uh, uh, these files. Uh, if you have uh, Julia 1.7, you don't need to run this uh, um, this uh, line here, but only this instantiate and only one time. What they do resolve instantiate. Uh, I think we already defined them, but let's going to to repeat it. Uh, resol so there are two main uh, packages, uh, two main files in uh, in Julia environment. We define a Julia environment. As if you go here and we go to see here. So one is the manifest and one is the project.tom. In the project.tom, we just say which package we are going to use. So this is the ID of the, of the package distributions. Uh, and eventually we also see, say, specify which uh, uh, limits we want uh, with uh, this package. So m the m minimum and maximum uh, version for each package. While the manifest uh, uh, file is a much more detailed file that is uh, entirely machine generated that specify exactly which versions for each uh, uh, package and for each uh, uh, dependency of the package we have. So what we do as users, we define and we do it automatically when we add a package, which package we want, which library we want uh, to do our work. And then uh, the uh, Julia created this manifest uh, file that give the exact versions of the package that we are using. So if we are uh, uh, using Julia 1.7, the list of the packages that we have 
it's guaranteed to work with Julia 1.7 because it's the one I am using. So the only things we need to know the first time only is to instantiate uh, uh, the uh, repository. That is it. Uh, we Julia, when we run this command, will uh, download and install uh, the package uh, that are specified in the manifest files and of course if we these are not already available for other uh, projects we have in the computer but this guarantee these files that under julia.1.7 we end up with a um, system with an environment that is exactly the same as the one that i am using now to run these uh, these files what happens if we have another version of julia if you have another version of julia we are not guaranteed to have exactly the same version of the package because the package themselves depends on the version of Julia. So if we run this resolve here and we say, okay, find me a, a, a combination of the versions of the package that works for my version of Julia that I am using. So for example, I'm using Julia 1.8, the versions uh, of the package may be different than the one that has been used here. So if I run here, there should be no differences because in fact, indeed there is no change because uh, the version is the same. Is the same. Uh, but if we were using another version of Julia, we will see that project.toms will be the same but manifest will uh, will change will because julia will find the the version of the package that work with the specific version of julia that we have so unless you have another version of julia keep this one in comment and uh, just run this one also only just the first time you're using this uh, this uh, file to, uh, or in general, this lesson, uh, you don't need to run it on the, as the environment is shared for the whole uh, lesson, uh, you don't need to run it on each segment. Next, uh, okay, we have the same uh, environment, let's gonna have also the same, uh, uh, the same seed of the random number, so what we are guaranteed that the flow of random numbers is the same, We'll uh, deal more in, part in more in details with this one because there are uh, some other things to say. But for now, let's using random and let's gonna uh, fix the seed. I just put one to three. You can use another number, another fixed number, just uh, uh, whatever you want. So now, every time that I run this script, if I make a, a random num random, the first time will be the same so 0 0.52 if i do it of course if i run again i will have another number okay but if i fix again to one to three the first number will be the same as i did earlier 0 0.52 and the second time will be 0 0.58 okay so the flow is like resetting the flow of random numbers that uh, uh, that I, I make when I call the random function.